The study was conducted in paired eyes from the same subject, with one eye assigned to flax and the other eye to conventional technique. Cumulative dissipated energy and torsional amplitude were measured intraoperatively, and endothelial cell loss was compared pre versus 150 to 210 days post-surgery. Cumulative dissipated energy and average torsional amplitude during surgery were both significantly lower with flax compared with conventional surgery. The percent loss in endothelial cell density at the final study visit compared with pre-surgery was 1.5% with flax and 2.7% with conventional surgery. The endothelial cell loss ECL rates for both groups were substantially lower than values reported previously, resulting in a smaller than expected and non-statistically significant difference between the treatment groups. Let's take a look at the videos of the two procedures to examine factors that are likely to have contributed to low surgery-related endothelial cell loss. The eye is being stabilized to maintain the correct biomechanical orientation. Here you can see the surgeon performing paracentesis at 60 degrees and 120 degrees. An image-guided system is used to help guide precise incision placement in the predetermined axis. OVD is then inserted. The main incision is made at 0 degrees. This is followed by manual capsularexis. The surgeon performs a full hydrodissection, and he ensures that the lens is separated from capsule by rotating the lens. The manual stop and chop technique is used for lens fragmentation. For phaco emulsification, a balance tip is used to allow efficient amplification of ultrasound energy at the distal end, contributing to low CDE as seen in the top right. The phaco tip is placed in the central anterior chamber just below the iris plane to optimize outcome by avoiding phaco emulsification and aspiration occurring too close to the cornea or posterior capsule. The tip is positioned with the bevel facing down to reduce effects of cavitation and minimize turbulence, which may help protect the endothelium and contribute to low ECL. You can see the CDE at the top right, vacuum at the right, and the torsional power at the left, all working in sync. The torsional ultrasound power is delivered when the vacuum is engaged. Irrigation flow from the sleeve is directed to the sides, which is important for avoiding flow towards the cornea, which in turn could minimize endothelial cell loss. Once phaco emulsification is complete, the surgeon would prepare the eye for the IOL implant. After the laser performs the capsularexis and lens fragmentation, as with the conventional surgery, the surgeon performs paracentesis at 60 degrees and 120 degrees using the guidance of the image-guided system. OVD is then inserted. The main incision is made at 0 degrees. The capsulotomy cap is removed using forceps. As with the conventional surgery, a full hydrodissection is performed, separating the lens from the capsule and rotating the lens to ensure separation.
FACO emulsification is performed in a similar way as the conventional procedure, using the same FACO tip placement techniques, with the tip placed beveled down in the central anterior chamber to aspirate and remove the nucleus material. Linear control of torsional power with a delineated foot pedal movement control makes it possible to minimize the energy used for the cataract removal. Note the lower CDE with the flax procedure compared with what was seen with the conventional surgery. Torsional ultrasound energy is less with the flax procedure due to fragmentation of the lens, which is mostly aspirated with high vacuum. Torsional FACO allows for improved nuclear followability, which can result in shorter cumulative tip travel and shorter procedure time. Following the shown lens removal, the eye is prepared for IOL delivery. These videos demonstrate that the use of flax, combined with torsional phaco emulsification, the choice of surgical accessories, and methodical surgical technique can contribute to favorable surgical outcomes, including low endothelial cell loss, as seen in this study.